I think cervical cancer is really a right area for interest right now. You know, TCGA data was just published in 2017, so it's been lagging behind some of the other cancers. But what it's really kind of informed is there are some areas that are uh, targetable for cervical cancer. Not only does this include immunotherapy, where you're looking at PDL1 expression, um, which has been a growing area of interest and actually has FDA approval in cervical cancer now. We're also seeing other targeted areas, excuse me, other biomarkers that can um, present targeted um, therapies as well. This includes things like HER2 um, mutations in, in a small subset of cervical cancers, and then also other areas such as uh, combination therapy of immunotherapy with um, other, other immunotherapy agents, um, tissue factor, which is not necessarily a biomarker, but is an active agent, and then possibly homologous recombination deficiency as a targeted therapy.